Jesus Christ, a dungeon born. Hello. Ice King, this is the last time you steal our sandwiches. Listen, the thing is, as soon as you turn your head, he pops up behind you. It's like a thing with him. No. There is no escape. Nothing like the rush of hunting people down and killing them. Please! I'm not you! Mecca lecca high, mecca hiney ho. Mecca lecca high, mecca hiney ho. Thank you! I hope your whole family has a nice Christmas! Hello and welcome back to my channel here on YouTube. My name is Bones of Life. I hope you guys are all healthy and well today. We are playing some Dungeon Darker. I mean Dark and Dungeon Born. I mean Dark and Darker Dungeon Born. We're playing Dungeon Born. And this game is actually a ton of fun to be honest with you. And all jokes aside, it does a good job of establishing itself as a different game from Dark and Darker while having the same aesthetic and gameplay style. It's genuinely pretty cool. The things that they bring to the table that Dark and Darker doesn't is kind of more polished graphics. I would think we can all agree on that. A couple new systems, like for example, this character I'm using, which is called the Death Knight, has a system instead of mana, where he will use souls of the dead to uh, cast his spells. Like I have this little grasping hand you'll see later, and uh, I can surround myself with like the souls of the dead that then try to grasp my enemies and pull them down, doing basically damage over time. So this right here is going to be a little boss fight between me and Mr. Axeman, and uh, I do a pretty good job fighting him, but in this fight I'm going to hear someone walking on the bridge above me. That's going to prompt me to be a little bit scared and back up. It's a really cool game. I think it's quite enjoyable. The PvE feels nice, the hits are meaty, the PvP feels pretty fair and balanced, and if you're really into like the MMR and that kind of thing, there's absolutely a matchmaking system based off of your gear score. So if you go in with less gear, then you will get matched with people who also have less gear. Here's my friend, right? Now, tell me if any of you guys have had the same experience. This guy jumps into this fight with me, and he will not attack me, by the way. He does no damage to me and doesn't even attempt to try to, to take the damage. And I'm kiting the enemy this whole time. What a cool interaction. I had to put this in the video because you will never see this probably ever again. I, if you have had an experience like this with a complete random, please go ahead and leave me a comment down below letting me know what that was like. And yeah, I'm a cheeky little guy. You saw I tried to grab him with my ghostly hand there. So I go ahead and finish off with this buddy. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and allow him to also loot the body. Not because I'm almost dead, but, you know, because I'm a gentleman. You know what I mean? I'm not scared. I'm just, I'm just kind, you know? Kindness. Be kind, everyone. Time passes, and in the same match, I end up running into this Mr. Cryomancer guy. He ends up kind of whooping my booty. It's a weird fight, because I feel like the Cryomancer does a lot of what the Death Knight does just better. I just need to hit harder. He does damage over time. He can summon a storm. Uh, he can ice himself to kind of get himself to recover his health. So I, I was also a little bit damaged, so, you know, fair play. Good fight, man. You got me. Uh, it's not that punishing to lose in this game either, honestly. It feels pretty fair when I lose fights. I don't really feel like I got outgeared a lot of the time because of the MMR system. And that's cool for me as a casual player, you know. I don't know on the more competitive side if that's a good thing or not, but I will tell you right now that I felt more comfortable losing in Dungeonborn than I did in Dark and Darker. Now this guy, for example, is better geared than me. He has all whites, whereas I'm rocking a lot of grays. Like, I think I have a green weapon and a green dagger. Uh, and I thought I was just damaging the heck out of him, but I only ended up doing 25% of his life. Uh, another nice little touch here is that when you die, you are absolutely able to look at what your opponent had. You can kind of see what they do moving forward. I like this little spectation thing. I think this is already in Dark and Darker, but you know, it's worth noting. It's a cool system, period. So yeah, after he ends up uh, beating me, I'm going to take my loss, go back to my Death Knight because, you know, I was trying to, if you can't beat him, join him with the Cryomancer and it just didn't work for me. 
So anyway, Death Knight is where I hopped back to, and I ended up trying to fight this werewolf boss now solo. Uh, I bought some good items on the market. I think I'm rocking like a couple of blue pieces. I think I have like a green sword and a couple of pieces of green armor. I got myself geared up because after losing a couple times, I wanted to be more prepared for the PvP fights instead of feeling like I'm just behind gear-wise. Now that that begs to mention the ability to get yourself gear is really easy in this game. There's like an auction mart and all that stuff. You can put your stuff up and just have it there for anyone to buy whether you're online or offline or not. And one thing I just wanted to mention about this game because it is completely PvP focused. Like every game mode that you play is a PvPVE type of mode. I don't understand why games like this don't decide to do like a PvE roguelike style, you know, mission based mode for example like you would go through the castle you'd fight all the mobs get to the boss at the end and then choose like oh my blade is now on fire and when i swing it i could shoot like a fiery blade ahead of me obviously not to take that into pvp but to make it like a casual roguelike challenge versus the ai kind of thing and uh, yeah so we got a nice little blue dagger anyway off of that werewolf and then the chest that i was fighting him for obviously had nothing because my luck is you know my luck so here, I switch over to the Swordmaster. That is a loot goblin coming out of the ground. I had never seen one before, and I didn't know they existed in this game at all. So that's why I didn't go for it immediately, but I will realize in a minute. Uh, the character that I'm using right now is called the Swordmaster. The Swordmaster is a dexterity-based, um, kind of like a ranger, I guess you could think, but they deal in using swords. So like right here, I, I saw the escape portal pop and I thought that was somebody trying to leave. And then I realized, oh, that's a freaking loot goblin. So I chase him down. Uh, as you can see, I have these like swords I can make spin around me. And I can also summon these little psionic blades like right here. And you use these blades within your inventory. So you equip these swords and then they're like consumables. So you can have them be the higher tier swords and do more damage but they are expended once you use them really cool class idea honestly same with the death knight and the cryomancer using souls as their weapons so you have to like kill things in order to recharge your abilities i love that that escape portal by the way is absolutely usable it's not just for the loot goblin you can do it yourself but i want to do a quick run around because i was spawning all these monsters grab my loot before i go and yeah, go ahead and head towards that portal. I think the Swordmaster's like up there is one of my favorites. He's really cool, but it looks like this is the class that's like, you gotta fund it really well. You know, spend a lot of money on those swords to make it useful. And then he'll burst you down, like similar to like how a rogue works, which makes a lot of sense. And it adds a little bit of variety to the uh, stabby stabby type of gameplay. So here I'm gonna go ahead and run down everything real quick in what you'll be doing in this game. Loot chests, right? You're gonna loot another chest. Then you're gonna break things and loot that. Then you're gonna kill stuff. When you're done killing stuff, you're gonna loot that stuff that you kill. If you run into players, you will either fight them or die to them or run from them, whatever you wanna do. But it's dark and darker, like in every way, shape, and form. I, you know, it's an extraction looter type game. Also, there are giant moose here that you can fight you know shout outs to canada i'm sure you guys know exactly what to do in these situations more or less just kind of fall over and die in real life but in this game you can kill the moose if that's your fantasy so once you're done looting and killing and killing and looting and looting and killing and killing and looting you then go back to find a blue spot on the ground make your escape and do it all again so that's all i got for you guys hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time Bye bye